what are some of the other things that people don't know about entrepreneurship or starting? Like you said, there's this facade around. Yeah, you know. That have been difficult for you. Everyone um, assumes things. Everyone assumes because you have a, a business that you're rich and you're not. Um, everyone assumes that, you know, because you're around all these people uh, day in and day out that you have, you know, people. I don't know how to describe this. Entrepreneurship can be extremely lonely. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Quote. Yeah. Tag. Entrepreneurship can be extremely lonely. Why? Well, you know, everyone thinks like you see these startups on TV and they're surrounded by all these people. You don't have anyone to lean on. You know, if it's just you, especially Feels as like. a yeah, especially as a solo entrepreneur or even a team of two, you know, it's you. You don't have upper management to go cry to or lean on or say you messed up. You know, you have advisors which help, and I had a great team of advisors, still do, around me, and mentors. Um, but at the end of the day, when your team members go home and your your mentors are off doing things, it's you, you know, and, and you tend to, um, and I think a lot of entrepreneurs go through this, you tend to isolate yourself um, mentally, even like just in the car driving home, and you're really hard on yourself. Mm. You are so hard because it's like, you're going to make mistakes, I mean, and that's great, and you're going to fail because if you're not failing, you're not growing, but it doesn't mean every failure is easy to swallow. You know, and, and it could be anything. I mean, you know, I remember, um, it's crazy. There, there are definitely times along our journey that we've, we've had some rough patches. And, you know, I sit there and I wonder, how am I going to, we're not going to make it. This isn't going to push forward. I quit my job for Odang Hummus. Um, and I, I had some money saved and I cashed in what stock options I had for, with the company and stuff. So it gave me a little running start, but I had to run a company and support myself off that off those funds. Yeah. And I remember um, your I quit, burn rate. Yeah, my burn rate. And you know, we were selling at the farmers markets and stuff, but I was trying to grow it faster than what we had coming in, uh, and it was working. And I remember I quit my job in June, and by um, October we were running really low on funds, at least to push forward. You know, we needed more, and I had to figure out like, what are we going to do? Do I have to? You know, I was way too early to get an investor, um, and I remember panicking, looking around like, well, I don't know where this money's coming from. So with UCF, I had an opportunity to go do a, a business plan competition up in New York. And um, I was like, you know, it, it's just a good time to get up there and network. And maybe I'll meet some investors. And I saw the other competition up there. I mean, you're talking 20 of the top teams in the country of collegiate entrepreneurs. And um, long story short, we went up there and somehow took second place. I won second place in the thing. And you know what it gave me? A, a $15,000 check. And I remember flying home. I mean, I cried, you know, because it's like, you hit, you hit that rock and you don't know what's, and you just don't know. It you know? looks like there's no path. There's no path, yeah. And then it's like, I mean, I still look back and I don't understand. We're competing against teams that were working for NASA and healthcare technologies and startup tech ventures, Red Bull, I mean, all kinds of crazy, and we make dip. We make hummus. 